Don't dream it, be it. Oh, there's that COPPA thing. Get out of here, COPPA. Nobody likes you. Uh, let's get into this thing, shall we? Hey, how's it going, YouTube friends? It's me, your one fuzzy boy. Never back at you again in the world gone crazy with the worldwide. Ick. So you need distractions. I'm here for you. That's why my show is here. The only show with lemon scented limes, lest I forget. And the only show with a supernatural, super awesome third eye. I mean, why ask why? Does this joke never get any better? And why are we still telling it in 2021? I don't know. But if you did, laugh, then thank you. It's Wednesday again, my YouTube friends. I want to thank you all for being my YouTube friends once again. I know I say it every week and I truly do mean it. The world would be a truly jacked up place if I was alone. And we all shouldn't be alone. It's bad for you. So uh, I hope everybody gets to see this video because I'm going to say some really good things this week. So you came here for a movie review. You didn't came here to listen to me talk about my personal stuff. Let's get into it, shall we? And today's movie is Soul. It is a PG movie. It is an hour and 40 minutes, which satisfies my number thing to a T. It is an animated adventure comedy that came out on the 25th of December, so Christmas. So we're late, but I think it was worth the wait, man. And I mean, I, don't, I know I'm late to about every damn thing in this world, but I think I needed this today. This was that manna from on high that makes you feel like you're alive. It's from director Peter Doctor. He is a big name in this thing, along with Kemp Powers, who this is his first turn in the directorial chair. Along with their co-writer, who did the writing with them, Mike Jones, who is a big name in the writing thing. And I've heard of him before because I've watched some of his stuff. Oh, there's a cast here, and we have to cover some of them at least. Uh, Jamie Foxx, Tina Fey, Graham Norton, so many more good voices here, people you know. And, oh my gosh, beautiful filler that I do want to cover more, but I can't. Time and Tide, love, you know how it is. And our production companies were Walt Disney Pictures, Pixar Animation, and our distributor here in the good old United States of America, God bless America, land that I love, was Disney+. Plus. Yes, it's a VOD. Ugh. I know. I can't wait for this to come to DVD, though. We're skipping ahead a little bit because uh, not much else to say. There's no special effects. It's an animated film, and why should there be? <laughs> uh, so, my thoughts on this film. Wow. I don't get to say wow very often, and wowing is something that doesn't happen very often. And I have to say, for Kemp Powers, take what you've learned here and move forward with the diligence that you've, what you, of what you've learned here. Don't rest on this. It is such a wonderful film. I mean... You've got Mike Jones writing on this, everything from Jamie Foxx's voice acting. And I've had my ups and downs with Jamie Foxx. I love what he does sometimes, and other times I've hated it, and I love this. Him and Tina Fey, I hope that they were in the same room recording this, or at least listening to each other's playback and working off that, because this is a thing where they meshed so beautifully. 
as characters and voices and their and the script writing played to their strong suits. Little questionable on how the whole thing works and death and life and everything, but I'm going to leave that to other people because I I don't want to question it. It's a beautiful movie with great beautiful things about living and the small screen does not give this justice. I am super upset that this is on the small screen, that I'm watching this on my crappy Curtis monitor from Goodwill and not watching this in, say, you know, the AMC at Disney, just because I'm upset. This is a film where everybody needs to see. So Disney, as soon as the worldwide ick goes gets taken care of and we're all uh, inoculated and things like that. I feel that the average theater goer needs to see this. This is the person who isn't going to pay $70 a month for, you know, Disney plus or any other VOD service for that matter. Um, Cause this needs the justice of the big screen. This needs to be in Dolby surround sound, whatever max. <laughs> I can, I just want this I want everybody to go see this film. If you have if you have Disney Plus, watch this. Do it on a day that you're going to have time to spend to think about what you've seen. And I can't really do justice with words. This is beautiful and it helps us remember the small things. And sometimes we forget the small things are what makes a big difference. And I'm glad that Disney has reminded me of these things. Thank you. I know I don't say that very often to production and stuff like that, but thank you for a wonderful film. I kind of don't want to see what CinemaSense thinks just because I, I feel like they'll ruin the moment for me and I'm in the moment right now. I just finished watching this and it's wonderful. Let's just cover the numbers because we have to. <laughs> it's an 8.1 on IMDb out of 10. And it's a 96% with an 88% audience score. And I can see why. <laughs> There's The numbers are good. And it's a 96 and it's certified fresh. I'm not going to complain. I definitely see this as a TV watch when it makes it to Disney, some Disney network. But... I think this will be end up in my happy box. And I haven't put a movie in the happy box for a long time because there haven't been a lot of really good stuff that I feel like, yeah, this is something that if you're, you know, feeling down, feeling blue, this might be something that, you know, helps you get over that. And this does. I'm going to put this right next to Wolf Walkers in that happy box. I don't want to say anymore, but this is a very beautiful film. Watch this in the right headspace at the right time, in the right when you're feeling like every day is exactly the same, and it's going to blow your mind. <laughs> and mind blowing doesn't happen very often. So, you know, put this aside. It's gonna get dust on it, but when you're you're in in that bad space, pull this out, watch it, and feel good. Otherwise, you know, don't watch this on a loop. You'll It'll ruin it for you. I don't feel I can do any more justice for this film, so you're just going to have to go watch it and see. So with all that said, if you like what you see in here, make sure you hit that like button. Likes and views are how YouTube works. It's not the way I like it. It's just the way it is. So, yeah, remember all comments are 100% guaranteed response. You typed me, I typed you. I check the comments on a weekly basis, so I will get back to you as soon as possible. Remember, the better your comment, the better my response. And, you know, I have to ask, I have an Amazon, I have a Patreon. It is not without your support that keeps this channel afloat. I don't know how I do it without you. I am truly grateful to have fans like you. Thank you for supporting my American dream. And with all that said, for a final time, if you want to see more of this nonsense, make sure you click that subscribe button and that little bell icon. Ding. Ding, 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 ding. Top of morning. And I will see you all in the next movie review. Bye. Oh, God. No one should see a 190-pound kitty man cry. And I still am crying from this movie. I'm trying to hold back the waterworks. I think this is one of those ones that's going to be remembered by me. I'm going to have good feelings about it. 
later on, I'm going to feel good and feel great about this film. So I hope that it has the same effect on you. Now, I got to go blow my nose. So I love you and I'll see you next time. Bye.